Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And in this video, I'm going to try and go through uh, just a stupid easy um, Windows 10 installation and just my VMware like virtual machine. So really what I had done here is just, I googled the words download Windows 10 and then I went through and just got to this Microsoft link here just on the Microsoft website and choose, okay, I want a Windows 10 image, I want it in English, etc. And click through all the stuff and then I went for a 32-bit or 64-bit download. I just went for a 64-bit download, but obviously you can do whatever you are comfortable with running. And I'm using Workstation uh, VMware Workstation 14. Don't ask why I have an Ubuntu image already on an Ubuntu computer, but <laughs> whatever. Let's go ahead and create a new virtual machine. Kind of going in cold here, but uh, you know what? I think we're going to be able to roll with it. Let's find out. That's the whole point of doing this. It had not been able to detect that it was Windows 10, but whatever. Let's see if it will now. Yeah, 60 gigabytes is perfectly fine. Um, memory, we can probably give a little bit more. Um, I can give it like three or something like that. Doesn't really matter. Sure, somewhere along there. And I want a bridge connection, so it's like it's a real virtual machine, a real a real computer on, on my network. And then let's see what happens. Oh boy. Lots of VMware errors. Errors. Okay, cool. We're just getting a regular Windows interaction. I can probably Alt-Enter here and then make it go full screen so we can get a regular virtual machine. Full screen, look like it's a real, real computer going on. And this pin at the very top. We may be able to ignore, close the library, and will that go away? Will that thing ever go away? Whatever, I don't know. All right, I want it to be in English, because I speak English, and I want to install now. Cool, okay, unpinning it. I can uh, not have to have that toolbar gone. I don't have a product key. I'm just going to use a kind of flat Windows 10 image without it being for realsies. Uh, and Windows 10 Home is fine. Maybe Pro. Let's go Pro. Be a professional. I'll accept the license terms. I totally read all this and trust it. Cool. And then we can just go ahead and install Windows only. We don't need to worry about any files or settings or application on this because it is just a flat, like, hard drive that VMware created for us. We can go ahead and hit new on that hard drive space. Perfectly fine for it to do that. Okay, I guess <laughs> Windows just decided, sure, I'll run through and create all these partitions for you. That's perfectly fine, and we'll go ahead and hit next. Sorry I'm not going through, like, in fine detail what every single button or whatever single option does. It's just trying to run through this so you guys, if you wanted to have this set up, you could, just as a Windows 10 image. Um, you can totally do this, obviously, with just a USB drive, if you wanted to make this installer bootable on maybe like using UNet Bootin, a tool to make a USB drive bootable with an ISO, um, or do this on a physical machine with a disk, or do this on a virtual machine, whatever the case may be. Uh, you don't need to run through, you don't need to watch, sorry, you don't, need to, you don't actually need to look at the video for this installation process, so we'll go ahead and pause the video here. Okay, jumping right back in. Um, should be installed now, Windows needs to go ahead and restart. Pretty easy. And you might be, like, asking me, like, hey, John, why the heck are you uploading a video on how to install Windows 10 when it's not too difficult of a process? And I, I gotta say, weirdly enough, there are, like, hundreds of YouTube videos and just tons of YouTube videos where people are showcasing, like, oh, installing Windows 10. Okay, <laughs> I guess uh, here is my obligatory Windows 10 install video. Um, but I ran through the next button. Um, chose a hard drive that's simple enough, easy to do on a virtual machine. Um, I'm doing this because I'm running window. I'm running Linux. I do about Windows and Linux, but I like my screen recorder in Linux so much more than I do in Windows. So I wanted to be able to use that, but still record like Windows footage, like actual content, programming, software, and stuff that's running in Windows. But I still want to stay in Linux. So funky, weird thing. I'll just use a virtual machine. And Windows 10 is easy to download, easy to do, and through this installation video and through this process, now it's going to be installed and accessible on my computer. Okay, I paused the video for a second because, uh, I paused the video recording because that getting ready screen took significantly longer than I thought it would. 
And now this black screen will probably take pretty long. <laughs> Just take this a long time to load. Oh, it turns out it restarted again. Okay, whatever. Let's just boot normally. Okay, looks like we are back in action now. Windows is still doing its circular spinny thing of death. And okay, Cortana is here to guide us through this and she sounds pixelated and awful. Let's turn that down, whatever. Can I just do this without Cortana? <laughs> Can I... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Let's go. Okay, never mind. Still waiting. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Yep. United States. That's me. I want to be a United States keyboard. Don't need another keyboard layout. Um, can I use a wired Ethernet connection? Whatever. I'm sure VMware will figure it out. I am John. I'll totally type in my super secure password now. And that should be able to create that account. Um, can I not do this? Can I? Oh, jeez. I don't care about all these things. <laughs> I'm just going to answer Doug for everything. Um, Doug. <laughs> Alright, cool. I would never had to do that in a regular, like, Windows setup. Whatever. No, I don't want Cortana. She's really annoying. I don't need any of these features, especially the ones that send basic diagnostic data back to Microsoft, or a tailored experience to the things that I need, or like, please stop, please stop watching me. <laughs> okay. Now we have our default Windows hello. <laughs> Easy install. Okay, fantastic. After a uh, lot of flashing blue screens and lots of messages that let me set this up for you, it may take a couple minutes, it's finally done. So we've got a little Windows command prompt. We've got a little bit of PowerShell. ISE, okay, cool. Not really what I wanted, but whatever. And we've got Windows, cool. Now we can start to do nerdy Windows things in this stuff. Perfect. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope to be releasing a couple more Windows videos pretty soon. Hopefully we'll be able to set this up now that we've got it running in a virtual machine. And yeah, I can be in both Windows and Linux, do whatever I need to do, and it's all good stuff. Thanks. See you in a later video.